Well, you want to talk about a fighter who checks all the boxes, DC. Here is the UFC featherweight king, your right-hand man, Max Bless Holler. The Blessed Express <laughs> is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC's featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway and his preparation, true Hawaiian to his soul, and it shows in the toughness that he exhibits when he steps into the office. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer BJ oh. Penn, Max Blessed Holloway. Few guys are gonna be able to match the cardio. You mentioned the pace and the pressure. All eyes on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Because every time you go to MSG, you come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Oh, Malley gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? to attack, it is a sight to behold. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Thirty seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. What a round! Oh, right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting right, underway. Right. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Ooh, what a punch. O'Malley gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just misses with the punch by Holloway. Switching stances here. Holloway gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. What a wild hit. Bell head kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. And they separate. It's a nice punch land. Oh. 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 That offering DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking the kick right under that right elbow. Ball straight right. Twenty seconds left. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ball straight right. All right, round three coming up next. All right, man, listen, you got him. He really hurt him at the end of that round. He is still going to be hurt. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there. And All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. What corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds? Oh, he might be out. Keep going in. Do it again. Down the Oh, straight right. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 
Holloway's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice jab. They continue to exchange. What a punch. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really fighting them up now. Well, missed on that one. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Well, it's one thing to have length that's as effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. results in the KO here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by... Oh!